Brewing Field Robotics Team 273. My name is Kayla. And my name is Isabel. Wow. Here, let me help you. Where would you like me to place these books for you? Oh, thank goodness for my handy dandy robot helper. It's going to be one of those days. Yes, Mr. Robot. Please copy these papers, staple them, and place them on my desk. Can you show me the data you collected on the students that are falling behind last week? I need to give each of them an individualized learning plan for this week. Of your 13 students, five of them need to concentrate on their math tasks. They seem to have chalked out. Six are already ahead of their class and seem bored. For these six students, I will compute an action plan to make sure they are motivated and excelling this week. For your five zonked out students, I will spend extra time with them this week and make sure they are on it. This is awesome! I can't believe my luck! You look and sound just like the way I designed you. The school superintendent was sure smart to budget you in for me this year. I'm going to get a lot of things done while my students improve their learning skills. Oops, did I forget to charge you last night? I self-charge using Moonlight during the night, and when I'm on yard duty, the sun helps me stay charged during the day. Did you know I can speak over 50 languages? I can even show the students pictures all around the world while you give your lesson. This is amazing! You must tell me more about what you can do. I have cool features such as a staple hammer and a copy machine in my belt. I can teleteach from school anytime a child misses class due to illness or needs extra help with homework. I can even contact teachers from around the world if you need any extra information to talk. Can you deprogram the geography facts to help my students apply and memorize what they learn from me? Not only can I give them geography facts, but I can make cool games on my screen on my chest for the kids to use what they Now that we have your attention, here is our challenge question. How can we improve the way someone learns in our overcrowded U.S. schools in the 21st century? Our solution to improve learning in an overcrowded classroom is to have robot assistant helpers like me, the handy dandy Isa Labar. We discovered at UC Berkeley's Artificial Intelligence Graduate Program that Dr. Beal and his second year graduate student, Sandy Wong, have been working on teaching robots how to do household chores, like folding towels, loading clothes into the washer, and tying a rope. The study of artificial intelligence is still developing, and a team at UC Berkeley hopes that by the year 2017, the price of a robot will go down to $2,000 as they continue to develop coding algorithms for robot automation. For now, there are robots that can bake cookies, perform surgery, fly helicopters, drive cars, and teleteach, but they are all done by human remote. Our research shows that this will be changing rapidly. We also did research on the new science of learning and found that our idea can help with motor learning, implicit learning, imitation learning, and apprenticeship learning. There are emerging social robots that will help teachers reinforce young childhood education. Speaking of children, let's not forget safety features being developed to ensure that robots will not be hurt when working with robots. There's an emergency stop button on every robot. This is very important to decrease any anxiety from parents or teachers when we introduce robots seeking assistance. This is why we did a survey at Brookfield School to see how many teachers would have anxiety or be threatened by a robot assistant. The majority of the teachers wanted a robot assistant and would not be threatened by one. We envision by the year 2025 that robot teaching assistants should be in every classroom in the USA. South Korea has already had robot teaching assistants in preschool age classrooms teaching English since 2009. We stand to learn a lot from their progress. There are already robots across the United States, such as Projo, which is in L.A., Kansas, and New York City. These are all pilot studies funded by the federal government through grants, but we think it is time to bring it into the mainstream of childhood education. We shared our ideas with Mr. Bogart's fifth grade class, our principal, at our team's scrimmage, and the superintendent of El Dorado Hills. There is much enthusiasm and excitement. Please refer to our reference board for all of our research references. 
We would like to thank Ms. Sandy Huang from UC Berkeley Robotics Lab for her wealth of knowledge and a tour of the UC Berkeley Robotics Lab. She was a great role model for increasing awareness for females in STEM careers. We also would like to acknowledge guidance and resource from Dr. Joe Gonzalez, Mrs. Devin Davis, and Mr. David Swart, the superintendent of Rescue Union School District in El Dorado Hills. Do you have any questions for us? Okay, good. <laughs>